This video was recorded during a live stream session on twitch.tv. If you enjoy my videos on YouTube, visit my Twitch account and click on follow to be notified when I'm going live. Join the chat and enjoy the gameplay! Greetings and welcome to episode 2 of the Charpings Adventures in Star Wars The Old Republic. This is the story of my Sith smuggler gunslinger. Yes, I'm trying to break all possible laws, I know. The series follows strictly the main class quest from level 1 to the very end of the leveling process. In the first episode we established who Jarbing is, how he started his adventure, and we also understood that he managed to lose his ship and obviously got pissed about the fact that he allowed it to happen so easily. In the first few levels on Ord Montel, Jarbinks met a few important characters, namely Corsu Riggs. He gave him Flashy a special magical, not really, weapon. And unfortunately we also learned that Riggs lost his very special Torchy. This is where we pick up the story in episode 2. Let's see what happens next. We are still on Ord Montel. This is very nice view to the right. You must be here Another NPC husband. to flirt with. I told Master Vidu he's gone out fishing. Would you like a sweet flat cake instead? It's fresh. Yeah, I could eat. You got any bantha milk to wash it down with? Of course. Help yourself, dearie. If you don't feel like waiting for Trimbo, the walk out to him is lovely. The beach is so relaxing. Trimbo's at his fishing camp. He'll be thrilled to have some company. And now, excuse me, dearie. Oh, for credit, sir, they don't have themselves. too much of a reward in, ter in terms of money. But it is better than nothing if you don't have other characters on the same server it does make sense farming the quest for money on the other hand it's always better to just finish the story get to level 50 or 55 and farm the dailies unless you're at the point where you absolutely hate and despise all the dailies in the game and you just cannot stand looking at any of those. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Oh. There used to be a data crown here somewhere on this beach, I believe. And uh, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Speak to who? Where? Where exactly is my target to talk to? Oh, <laughs> there it is. Don't, don't stand there. That spot is reserved exclusively for my Gundark friends. You're clearly not a Gundark. Your ears are too small. Listen, do you smell that? There's a pot of Alderanian stew bubbling. But how could I smell it all the way on Ord Mantel? That's quite a stench you got going, crazy old man. Stench? Impossible. I bathe eight times a day. It's the only way to keep that invisible Kowakian monkey lizard from drinking all my blood. Hmm, I do recall a man saying to expect a stranger coming for my chemicals. You seem pretty strange. Was he talking about you? 
Just give me your chemicals before I shoot you. Presence. Oh, I don't really want that one. About firing a blaster in or, You'll wait since I'm here anyway, why, why don't I just go and pick it up? It's sleep. very easy from what I People remember. People haven't had much luck getting my chemicals. Know why? Those Ugnaught assassins in the woods attack everyone who visits me. Just hand that thing over, Captain Crazy. How <laughs> dare you! I'm a colonel! What you really need is a precision teleporter, but a former assistant crashed my prototype into the sun. Good luck, my friend. If you should explode, please feel free to come back and tell me all about it. Everyone else has. Delivered chemicals. Oh, favorite race? That's a very good question, and I've never thought about it. I must say, uh, design-wise, and uh, well, just the looks of it, number one is probably Qatar, but it's very hard to pick up the proper-looking Qatar. And second place, definitely the Sith Pure Blood. Although the majority of my characters are humans. Come on, Datacron. I know you were here somewhere. Don't make me run even further. Oh, there you are. I found you. Yellow. Seriously? For presents? Oh, okay. Hey, don't talk like that. I like how the red guards in the temple on uh, Koriban never bow to you if you're playing an alien race. Oh, of course I should. <laughs> Thank you. I was going to just speed it all the way to there. I love the blue color of the cheese. Uh, I think my sniper was a cheese. Very pure blue color. They will. That's the next race coming. It won't be with 3.0, but sometime in 2015. They promised it, so there is no avoiding and escaping it. This may be the craziest thing I've ever done. I'll bet you get a lot of free drinks at the cantina telling this tale. Getting Trimbo's chemicals saved our necks, Captain. Rogan will be too busy selling them to think about the blasters. How about a little something extra for all my hard work? Sure, why not? I like you, kid. I really do. Buy yourself something fancy to kill A cheese marauder would be an awesome good idea. News and great news, I can imagine it. The and body type one. And found Even more fun than Thank what you. I you assumed. Promised you wouldn't get so excited. It isn't good for your heart. Sorry, sweetheart, but this is going to be great. <coughs> Scavic won't even see us coming. Ha! <laughs> I, want I think I've, to I have see seen her, yes. Yeah. Before he dies. Before you fry him, make sure he knows I sent you. Scavic is taking the blasters to the separatist base. Those wackos built their headquarters inside an old volcano. Crazy, huh? What do you expect from foaming at the mouth murderers? I wish that volcano would blow its top. Skavik's delivering the blasters to a psycho named Darek at the base. You need to get there first. When Skavik shows up, you can ambush him, grab your ship, and fly back here. Easy, huh? I won't be happy until Skavik and all his separatist friends are dead. That makes two of us. Take Corso with you, Captain. The kid knows more about blasters and vibroblades than anybody I've ever met. I owe Skavik payback for taking Torchy. That was lower than low. Never had a sidekick before. Yeah, me neither. Then it's a deal. You two head for the Separatist base, kill Darag, and ambush Skavik when he shows up. I've got a bottle of Chandralin brandy to open when you get back. When I'm done with Skavik, there won't be anything left to bury. I'd wish you two good luck, but I don't want to jinx anything. Just come back in one piece.
Thanks, sir. Ooh, okay, I fixed it. How long has it been like this? At least two or three minutes, maybe. <laughs> and no, I'm not an overhead. Thank you for warning me. I had uh, the preview disabled on OBS, so I had no idea what the hell I did. Let's just go back and enable the preview. And I'm going the wrong direction. Or maybe... No, it's not possible from here, so I have to go around. Good day! What do you mean? It's not day for you. But it's been a while since I've seen you around, mate. How are you doing? Welcome back, Vic. I hope you don't mind if I call you Vic. Right, I can use a speeder. I've been so many times on this damn planet and you see I still get lost, I still get confused what I'm doing, where I'm going. This is just ridiculous. You are clear for the Bombay travel routes. <laughs> Very drunk, okay. That's a good reason to be awake at... Uh... Wait, it's a it's 1am for me, so it's actually before midnight for you. Viking, okay. My brother's dog is called Viking. Which is the same word, it's just pronounced differently in Bulgarian. Ooh, a Halloween party. How was it? Show us your costume. Did you make one? Let's have us some fun, Captain. Good idea. A nice long photo session. Can we have it in bikini? If it's a female operative, of course. I don't remember if I've seen it. If it's a male operative, we don't need to see bikini. Flashy is my gun, yes, and... Wait, what? Oh, so he gave me his weapon. Another part of the story that I apparently forgot. I haven't? Yeah, that explains why I don't remember how it looks and what uh, sex it is. Sabotage charge is actually a single target ability, yes? Uh -huh. I don't know why I keep trying to use it on multiple targets, it's not possible. So the only AoE so far I've got is Thermal Grenade. Ha! <laughs> He's the only male you have. Oh, interesting. 
But I suppose you picked it because you wanted to flirt and uh, hit on everything that moves in the game. What I do remember from the story is that I will be chasing my ship for a very long time. Was it the whole first chapter? We'll see. Maybe it's actually better if you don't spoil the story. to this platform over here Glad to be back in action. and obviously no speeder allowed That's right. I got you. wow he killed all three of those there What do you think guys? Should I try to play with the DPS companion? At least for a little bit. It will definitely be a very weird feeling, DPS companion with the DPS character. Oh, gear, heavy armor. This guy doesn't have the experience bonus level 7 here. I like his comments so far. He's talking funny. Come on now, we are we are very close to advanced class.
worthless criminal vermin. How dare you invade my fortress and murder my courageous brothers in arms? I'm known for my daring. Now you'll just be known as the idiot who came all the way here to die. You are guilty of crimes against the oppressed people of Ord Mantell. The sentence is death. Memorize our faces well, you criminal filth, for we are your righteous executioners. Do you have any last words, degenerate swine? I love killing morons like you. Let justice be served! I surrender! I surrender! Please! I don't want to die! I know why you're here, and you're wasting your time! You realize you're a dead man, right? I'm begging you! Let me leave here alive, and I swear I'll quit the Separatists for good. Derek was stupid to fight you. He got everyone killed, when he should have just told you the truth. Skavik showed up a few hours ago to deliver the guns, but it was all a trick. He pretended to be on our side so he could steal some rusty antique droid from Derek. That doesn't even make any sense. I know. Skavik helped us out a lot. We thought he was one of us. That droid was ancient. It's practically useless. But Skavik grabbed it like some big treasure and blasted his way out. He left in your ship. I don't know where he went, but I can guess who does. Skavik has a girl at Fort Garnick named Sirena. Sirena just made my hit list. She deserves it. She tried to get you killed. It was Sirena who warned us you were coming. If you want to find out where Skavik went, Sirena's the one who knows. Please, let me go. I have a family back on the mainland. Please. Separatist scum killed my family, and I promised myself I'd bury every last one of you. I... I've only been here a few months. I didn't kill anyone's family. I only ever followed orders. Then I order you to die. Yeah, everyone is following orders. Stop. This feels wrong. Orders are orders. Hmm. You heard the man, soldier. Please! I don't want to die like this! Oh, we're done here. Let's go see what Sirena has to say for herself. He got his revenge. And I've forgotten to click whatever that option was. User interface. Show conversation alignment game. There it is. Find Sirena. Good to see you. I, I can't believe you fried Vito, sweetheart. So what if he called you talking to Separatists? He threatened to turn me into Rogan the Butcher. I had to kill him. Besides, now we can finally be together. Yeah. And the thing is, my cargo hold is full and you know, I'm busy with work. I'll call you sometime, though. I promise. What are you talking about? You promised to get me out of here. I've done everything for you, Skavik. You did it for the money. Same as me. The only difference is, you're not actually getting paid. I'll see you around, Island. Captain, I... I didn't see you come in. It's wonderful you're still alive. <laughs> How long have you been back? Your friends in the secret base ratted you out. I should have known those halfwits wouldn't kill you. No use pretending, then. Skavik used me just like he did everyone else. That man could charm the armor off a Mandalorian. Rogan the Butcher's bounty hunters are on their way right now. We don't want to be here when they arrive. 
Skavik took your ship and the guns. To She's using way to make up now, on the cheeks. What do you from. think? The thread here below the ice. I still have plenty of time to kill you before I go. Every second you waste threatening me lets Rogan's bounty hunters get closer. Am I really worth it? The Separatists are retreating from this island, thanks to Probably you. trying to hide those marks that show lack of sleep. Port. I'll give you a shuttle pass to Coruscant if you let me disappear. Do we have a deal? <laughs> I'll take that shuttle pass off your corpse. Ooh. Whoa. One shot. That was cold Very blood, typical Captain. gunslinger behavior. Where I come from, real men don't shoot ladies. Hmm. Where I come from, we kill anybody we want. Got it? All I'm saying is, executing women is hard on my conscience. Poor old Vito. I wish he could hear what we did. Would have put a smile on his face. It's not healthy for us to stick around, Captain. I believe what Sirena said about bounty hunters coming. We don't know how long Skavik will stay on Coruscant either. Let's hop a shuttle and catch him while we can. You're planning to tag along? I'm not bailing on you now, Captain. Besides, my Torchy still needs rescuing. Vito left me some stuff. I expect he'd want me to share it with you. Let's head for the shuttle board. We'll be off this planet before you know it. Which one would you guys consider the best companion for a gunslinger? Out of the typical in-game companions, not taking HK or uh, Trick under consideration. If you had to pick one of the old, old school companions, which one would be? And why? Maybe. How are you? Let's have us some fun, Captain. Nadia. Well, yes, but if I remember correctly, don't I get Nadia at level 40 something after boss? And I'm pretty much done with uh, leveling by the time I get her. Vet. Hello, Nike Healing. How do you suggest to get Vet right here, right now? <laughs> Woohoo! Hey, thank you for the follow, mate. No, that's body type two. I think it's the best one for smuggler outfit. I just have to come up with a decent smuggler outfit before my next stream. I'm sick of being cooped up on Starship, Zoru. I want to run around and shoot things for a while. Why do you hate him? I didn't like the conversations with him when I was playing my scoundrel because I was more or less forced to hit on him and he was hitting on me. Might be fun after all. Kind of. Tank. I don't think I'll play a tank anytime soon. Maybe at some point after the expansion to experience the leveling process with the dumbed down mobs. No, you can post a link. But I'm always happy when you ask first. But for guys like you who have been here forever, <laughs> of course you don't need to ask. That guy was hard to kill. He almost hit me. Ooh, a picture. Wow. That's a typical ladies man. <laughs> I like the last one. The third picture is the best one. Those boots look very weird. I don't know if I'd, if those are boots actually or part of the pants.
I might copy the outfit, you know, but I'll make it different color because black is expensive. So I'll make it something weird, not girlish, but something more weird. Or I'm still gonna try and keep up with the original idea to make him look like Han Solo. <laughs> porn mustache, yes. A French porn mustache, if I may say so. Don't get offended if you're French. I don't mean it in this way. A, wo a woman in that outfit doesn't have a frontal nudity, by the way. <laughs> Man's pan is also fine. Gunter. The only Gunter I can think of is the barman from Friends. Are you referring to the same guy? <laughs> A member of YMCA, yes. <laughs> 